Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and today we got Gunslinger Nuked Suicidal. And a, uh, and a Yama who has cried all she needs to. I, uh, yes, yeah, yes, yesterday was, uh, was a pretty unfun day for me. It was kind of an eye-opener, and, uh, I'm gonna move my mic for one sec. It's kind of an eye-opener for me, and, uh, get out of here, dude. But, uh, anyway, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about it. I know that it can seem like I'm kind of overreacting. Um, if you've never personally experienced being frustrated with this kind of stuff, you know, if, if this is something that's, you know, alien to you, it might, it might seem like an overreaction to be, uh, so worked up, uh, ultimately by, uh, there not being chess resources that they use gender-neutral pronouns. Like, that. I, I can understand how, to an outsider, that can seem... Insignificant, or um, you know, whatever. Like, I, I can understand how you could uh, you could view that. I think that it's extremely rude to um, and uh, self-centered to to like tell me that and tell me that I'm overreacting. I think that that's something that is uh, rude. Hey, when when somebody's upset about something, you know, I, I think that you should ultimately. Uh, Think about why it is that they're so upset, and, and realize that maybe maybe it's reasonable, and, and that uh, you know you don't know the whole story. Um, but I, I think that it's very reasonable to not understand why it could be so upsetting, and and think that it's a little bit uh, of an overreaction. I can understand why that uh, that could be somebody's belief. But the the thing that you know you don't see when this kind of stuff happens is you know, the years leading up to it. You know, I, I have years of my life where I've, since I've, I've realized that I was trans and I've, I've uh, started transitioning and I've been working on it. I'm not doing a great job, the voice is still, but, uh, you know, there, there's years of that and the whole way it's, it's a lot of having to put up with, you know, people assuming I'm a guy. It's a lot of having to put up with people you know, not wanting me to exist. It's a lot of having to deal with this all the time, everywhere, you know, even until fairly recently, like, maybe a year ago. Even, like, at home. I was I was having to put up with a lot of this kind of stuff. You know, like, it's it's everywhere. And you, can't, you can't really get away from it. So, when, when you kind of go looking for a community, like a chess community or something, and, and you're being nice and respectful and civil and just asking to, you know, be included in the stuff, you know, like, I just, I want to do this and I want to be a part of it and I want to have fun and I want to be able to do this and people start retaliating and calling you unreasonable and, and the children justice war here and just kind of neglecting to acknowledge the the problems at hand. It's, it's, it kind of... It, it, it really just reminds you that you don't belong and it really just kind of cements the idea that you're different and uh, she shoots, she kills. you know you, you, you're not accepted and, and wanted and um, that feeling is, is, is one that's just really not fun honestly but it, it's it's not just you know the one thing where all of the chess resources for learning are uh, are using the default him. It's not just that the people were attacking me in that thread. It's not just that I got PMs and stuff. You know, it's it's that this is the norm everywhere. And I went into it expecting to have fun and be like excited and passionate about it, and I was just completely shut down, just right out from like the get go, basically, just immediately and harshly shut down and denied and like no you know like very clearly you're not wanted here you know like you're not accepted here this is not a place for people like you you know and uh, when when you don't have many places to, to be comfortable at and and be accepted and happy um, and you kind of go into somewhere expecting that and then it's just 
ripped out from you. Um, it's it's harsh, and you, even if you had no reason to expect it, like the chess community, I I, I knew that they're sexist, misogynistic, you know, pieces of garbage. I, I knew that. I knew that going into it. I had no reason to believe that I would be accepted in that kind of community, but I did, you know. And uh, I don't know. I, I guess I thought maybe the the subreddit would be a little bit more progressive. Um, maybe, but no, <laughs> no. Uh, and uh, it, it's that kind of it's, it's that kind of difference between you know the expectations and the reality that that makes it so harsh and painful to, to have to, to kind of go through because um, it because it goes from you know you being okay with not being a part of it to like you being just like removed forcefully removed from the place you know and it's 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 a much less fun experience um and and when that's the case everywhere all the time constantly it's it's just a reminder of, of how you know everywhere i'm not really wanted so much um and that's and that's harsh so i, I understand how somebody could think that it's an overreaction to be so incredibly worked up by this but uh on the other hand, I, I hope that people can kind of understand why I would be so worked up by it. I, I hope that people can understand that, like, it's it's a thing that happens all the time. If, if I try to join any community, basically, it's it's always responded to with this, almost always, anyway. And, uh, you know, some, sometimes it, it's just too much to handle. And uh, that's, that's what happened yesterday. That's definitely what happened yesterday. I, I, I couldn't handle the letdown. I couldn't handle the, uh... I couldn't handle the, um... The rejection, I guess. Um... Because I was really excited about chess, you know? I was really excited about it. I was thinking about, um... You know, maybe... Being, uh... Maybe titled... You know, eventually, maybe, but uh, probably not. I don't really have the the time to invest in in uh, in being that. But at least being a, a fairly notable female chess player, maybe at some point. I was thinking of uh, of possibly, you know, joining tournaments or or something, and and making it uh, kind of like a long term passion of mine of uh, of playing chess and learning it and studying and. And being good at it, and you know, having that be a, a thing that I was I was interested in, and uh, it's it's crazy how quickly just just one experience can completely rip that out. Because I just like I went from being super super excited about like learning chess and watching chess matches and like studying things and. And getting better at it, so like I just I'm not even subscribed to any chess YouTubers. Like I've unsubscribed because I just have like no interest whatsoever <laughs> in watching it. I've uh, I, uh, I I'm not doing like puzzles on Chess.com anymore. I'm not like it's just it's 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 like a, a switch is flipped, and I just I don't find chess is interesting anymore. I still enjoy it. Like, I've, I've still been playing games on chess.com. I'm coming up on 800 ELO. Um, but there's this fear that's associated with it now. You know, before I was excited, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get to like a thousand someday, and you know, I'll, I'll be like half decent, and I might be able to, you know, start doing something about that, and maybe, maybe you know, get a little bit better, and maybe, uh, get lessons or something and it's like now now there's like this this fear that's associated with it where I'm like if I get better I'm gonna have to start talking to people who play chess and I just really don't want to do that I um yeah I, I don't know it it, it 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 very very quickly changed my percept uh, my, my perception of, of the game as a whole because I'm, I'm like significantly less interested in it now I'm still gonna play on occasion, but I uh, 
I, I have no desire to like be good at it anymore. You know, like it's gone. It's it's just gone. <laughs> it's it's disappeared. It's no longer there. And uh, I mean that sucks because I was having a lot of fun with it, but I can have a lot of fun with other things too. You know, I can have a lot of fun doing. Um, I'll, it's gonna be black for a moment, but it'll come back. I wanted to get rid of the. Uh, I was on the wrong scene. Um, you know, there are other things that I can have fun with as well. Things where the community doesn't like hate me. Um, things where if I'm like a noteworthy player or a noteworthy you know person for some reason, I I'm I'm not like subject to criticism and harassment just because I'm a I'm a woman, you know. Place places where I'm I'm just generally more accepted and I feel wanted. Cause I hear um no I hear I hear like I read um you can just crouch you, you don't you don't get hit if you're crouching okay it'll work don't think it won't come on. Yo, <laughs> the crouch strats. Let's go. Works every time, except for when it doesn't. <sighs> Good water, dude. Um. Yeah, read the, read the. You know. Uh, what's the word for it? Um, I can't even think of it, dude. But I read articles. Articles. Articles is the word. I read uh, read articles on you know women in chess, and they're definitely discriminated against even even now. Um, got like gas in my throat from that water, dude. Um, they're discriminated against even now, and and that's like a major problem, you know. I was talking about it actually in. Uh, I episode a while ago when I watched The Queen's Gambit when I first got into chess or like just before I got into chess I guess um, but uh, I was I was mentioning how I wish that they went into the, the, the sexism in, in chess a little bit more because it was a lot more prominent back then than it was shown in, uh, in The Queen's Gambit and they wanted to focus more on Beth Harmon and and her success more than the, the sexism, but but personally, I, I thought that it would have been an excellent opportunity to kind of showcase that the the, uh, the 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 other side of that though is that it probably wouldn't have been as popular if it were accurate. Because <laughs> um, like, if you've watched Queen's Gambit, the amount of sexism that Beth Harmon faced in that show doesn't even come close to what you'd face as a female chess player today. Let alone back then. So, like, it was majorly glossed over. Um, which was disappointing, because it would have been really nice to see it uh, represented in, in a more, I don't know, mainline, main, mainstream light, I guess. Because um, it's, just, it's just a problem. So there, there are, there are, there are uh, hobbies that I can get into that don't hate me. Chess doesn't have to be it. I was having a lot of fun with chess, and... Uh, it does. It does suck, but I don't know. I'll still talk about chess on occasion because I'm still gonna be playing it. Um, I just had a, uh, a Stafford's Gambit game earlier. Made it in like 11 moves. It was a beautiful Stafford's Gambit. Uh, Stafford's Gambit, by the way, is basically when you feed their King's Knight a whole bunch so that you can get rid of it and then like launch a really brutal attack on their King's side, and they don't really have much way to defend against it because their knight is gone. Um, they have a, a few ways that they can kind of get around it, um, but like the natural moves that you're going to make when you when you first see it are, are ones that are just really not good, not putting you in a good position um, to face off against it, because those moves are kind of relying on your knight being there to guard a couple of like key squares you don't really think about, but um, so having, having the knight gone and having that like diagonal and you those squares kind of uh, freed up is uh, it makes a big difference so what, what you would normally do isn't very good anymore 
um, you have to kind of change it up a little bit. Um, so you, you can kind of trick people around like that. It's fun on the analysis, because the analysis is like, you're doing really badly. Okay, you mated them. Because <laughs> um, uh, the analysis, it doesn't really take into, like, you know, human psychology. It just takes positional and material advantages. Um, but the reality is that humans are... Uh, are more susceptible to, to making mistakes than the machine thinks we are. And, uh... That's what it'll say that you're behind even when you're ahead. Um, but you would be ahead. You, you would be behind if your opponent were making the best moves, but they're not going to make the best moves. Um, or at least you're hoping they aren't. <laughs> this uh, is the moral of the story. But anyway, I'm still going to talk about chess because I still love the game. It's still a lot of fun. I just I don't want to be a part of the community. I don't want to be, like, it, it's it's gone from, like, you know, me being really happy about it, me wanting to be part of the community, to me, like, yeah, if I meet you and you tell me that you're a chess player, I'm probably not going to tell you that I play chess. Because I don't want you to know that I play chess. And, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an aspiring trans woman YouTuber. <laughs> that, that level of, of discrimination I can handle. You know, that level of, 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 uh, of hate, this, this level I'm prepared to deal with, you know, being a, being a trans woman on YouTube. And I'm still like, yeah, chess is just too bad for me. It's, it's not, I can't handle that, you know? <laughs> like, uh, if that provides some level of context for just how terrible of a place it is for, for trans women especially. Women in general, but like trans women especially because now you're a woman and you're trans and it's like, yeah, now we have two reasons that we want you to die. And it's just kinda... It's incredible. It's incredible. I, uh, I respect any woman that, uh, that plays chess. Major respect, because it's, uh, I imagine you don't get treated very well. I imagine they get a lot of like threats and harassment and stuff. It's uh it's a terrible place to be. And it sucks. It really, really sucks, because I was I was excited. And uh that excitement is gone. But what can you do, right? I'll find another hobby. I don't know what it'll be. Maybe it'll be Go, Shogi. <laughs> maybe uh maybe they are a little bit uh less sexist. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll be a um, maybe I'll be a professional checkers player. Backgammon poker. I bet poker's less sexist. Like professional poker. Like if you go to a gamble, like if you go to like a casino, and you play poker, I bet all of the men sitting around the table are going to be sexist pigs. Um, but if you're like a professional poker player and you're going to like high stakes places, I doubt they're really discriminating against you. They might. Uh, you know what? Actually, I take it back. I take, I take it back. I'm naive. Of course they're discriminating against you. You're a woman. Why wouldn't they? I, I, I had a brief moment of, uh, of innocence before I remembered. It's weird because when I, um, before I transitioned, before I started transitioning, um, before I even realized that I was trans, I used to be of the belief that, um, you know, when, whenever, like, the, the sexism issues or feminist or, or whatever kind of came up, I'd be like, yes, there are a lot of problems in the world. Um, I think that, like, both groups have a lot of bad apples, and it'd be better if both of them were gone. After having transitioned, that's kind of changed. <laughs> uh, I definitely think that women have bad apples. But I think that um, on the men's side, it's mostly that it's a basket of bad apples with a few good apples. And uh, it's, it's a weird kind of perspective shift. But just, just like living as a woman, you, you, you just kind of get treated differently. Like, way differently. And you, you just, you just kind of develop this, this fear and like distaste of men. And uh, I don't know if you can really help it. It's just it's kind of brought on uh, by like society, I guess. I don't know. Like, just... It's it's weird, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't know where I was going with it, but I forget what I was talking about. Um, 
Yeah, before I transitioned, it was like... I, I kind of thought there was both. Now I just... I, 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 I don't. I, I don't. I feel very differently. You, you kind of develop the spirits of women. Like, it's like, um... You know, obviously... Not all men are terrible people that want to kill me. But... There's enough of them that... It, it, I'll, I, when, when, you, when you hear of... Uh, of a lesbian going on a date... They're not often telling their friends that, like, they're going on a date if I'm not, like, back by, you know, 2 a.m., you, you know, call the cops. When you hear of straight women going on dates, they typically do tell their friends. And, you know, you, you, you can say that it's sexism against men all you want, but I think the reality here is that, like, it's just kind of terrible to, to be a woman. Um... You know, you don't realize how bad it is. Like, as a guy, you, you just you just can't. And even even you, if you're if you're a guy watching this, you're probably a great guy. You're probably not doing anything super wrong, okay? But like, you you probably don't even realize how what you're doing is is inconveniencing women too. Just just because like it's so deeply ingrained into like society. That uh, you you won't even notice it. You don't even know that it's a problem. Glad you made it back. Don't and it's uh, it, it's incredible. Like the default he isn't something that I noticed uh, until after I started transitioning. And now it's something that really really bothers me personally. Uh, when you're reading like you know a scientific paper or lessons or something like that, and they refer to somebody they don't know as he because it's just the default. Instead of saying them, they say he or him or whatever, right? You won't notice that. You know, there, there's so many little things like that that you just you just won't notice until you're personally like frustrated by them. And it's not like they're major things. Like typically, like again, if you're watching this, you're probably a great guy. You probably don't need to worry. But like, it's so many of those little things that that just kind of add up to make you feel a little bit. Bad, I guess. And I, I don't think it's really anybody's fault, you know? I mean, I, it's the fault of the people from, like, you know, forever ago who decided that uh, <laughs> women are less and, and are, are, are worthless and stuff, you know? Um, but it's, uh... Yeah, it's just curious. I was thinking about it today, because I'm, I'm straight, and I oftentimes think how I wish I wasn't, because, like... I mean, again, kind of develop this fear of uh, of men, and uh, it's not like a major fear, but it's a uh, it's there, it's present, you know. And uh, every now and then, I'm like, yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice if I was gay. <laughs> yeah, it'd be it'd be great if I could just uh, date women instead, because uh, you know, I'd I'd be less scared of them. Because I think about my dating life, you know, in the future when COVID's over and stuff, and it's like. Yeah, I am gonna have to like, you know, tell somebody that I'm going on a date. <laughs> Before I wouldn't have to do that, you know, when I when I uh, when I was going on dates as uh, you know, pre-transition, I, I never thought about having to like tell somebody I'm going on a date. I mean, I, I tell people, but it's more of a like a, a bragging thing than a you know, make sure I don't get murdered thing, you know. Um. Anyway. I don't want to be uh, too negative about it all. It's just it's just an interesting thing that I kind of noticed uh, fairly recently. Where after after I transitioned, I just kind of started not liking men as much. <laughs> when when you transition and you're woman, you just get treated differently, and it's just like it sucks. And uh, you kind of default to falling back on. Uh, on your close friends, who most of my close friends are men, or um, on women. If I meet a, if I meet a, if I meet a dude in a game, I'm not telling you anything about me um, until I've I've really got to know you and we're like close friends and stuff. If you meet a girl in a game, you get you get the the trust ticket like almost immediately. It's crazy, but it's it's just something that kind of like naturally happens to you after you after you live as a woman for like a while. I don't know why. 
I mean, I know why. It's because there's, like, a whole bunch of sexism and stuff in the world, and, then, like, we feel really discriminated against, and then, like, we kind of get to, like, have that kind of thing together, you know, that kind of binds us. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's 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 just it's a strange thing that I kind of noticed. And it's definitely prevalent in, in chess, is, is, I guess, the moral of the story. I don't remember how I got on it, but I'll have to find another hobby. Maybe Shogi or Go. Maybe they're less uh, sexist. They're definitely not. It's it's naive to assume that uh, that anywhere would be less sexist. I think that's where I was at, right? And then I was saying uh, I was naive. Oh yeah, like before I transitioned, I was thinking this right. So yeah, like so before I transitioned, I was naive. I didn't realize how bad it was. Now I feel bad for all the women who I told uh, things to. I wasn't like, you know, you're not discriminated against. I was like, yeah, it sucks, you know. But. Can't think of any examples, but I'm, I'm sure at some point in time I've I've told uh, somebody that uh, you know it's bad for everybody, and I mean it is, but I just I think it's not really something you have to say, right? Two wrongs don't make a right, I guess. Anyway, I'm not as sad today. I'm still like I'm disappointed and I'm still sad, I guess, but I'm not as worked up. We'll put it that way. We'll be doing outpost next time, I guess. It gave us outpost on the random. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more of the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.